Hey, it's Dr. Jack Wolfson, cardiologist here, and I want to give you a case report from a patient of mine who is taking optolipid. So this is a 63-year-old male with a history of high cholesterol, elevated LP little a, which is a dangerous cholesterol particle, and also with inflammation, which is the biggest risk factor for cardiovascular disease. So we started this gentleman on two capsules of optolipid per day. And optolipid, as you know, is seven different ingredients, all targeted to optimize cholesterol levels, blood sugar, inflammation, and oxidative stress. So we start off with a before and after. On the right-hand side, we've got the before, and on the left-hand side, we have after. And you may notice that total cholesterol went up from 240 to, one, to 264, but actually that was really driven by much higher levels of HDL, which are productive. And what's actually very cool about this slide is that this cholesterol uh, to HDL ratio was at 6.5 in the red zone. And now we are comfortably in the green zone at 3.5. And also his triglycerides were dramatically cut in, uh, over in half from 201 in the danger zone down to 86, which is in that optimal range. So tremendous improvements on the old lipid panel. But the most important thing really going forward regarding cholesterol levels is this ratio called the ApoB ApoA1 ratio. Here's a study from 2014 that says it's a statistically better predictor of cardiovascular disease than the conventional lipid panel profile that I just showed you. So the ratio is most important. So check out this slide here. His before is on the right. Actually, the ratio wasn't even calculated. I calculated it. It was 1.5. ApoB, ApoA ratio, the lower the better. And now we are comfortably into the yellow zone on our way to the green zone. So almost a 50% reduction from 1.5 down to 0 0.82. This is absolutely tremendous. ApoA's went up dramatically and ApoB's came down from the use of OptiLipid. Inflammation is more powerful than LDL as a risk factor. So it's not even so much that I'm concerned about the cholesterol numbers, but I wanna know about inflammation. So let's see what happened here. He had two markers of inflammation noted here. The bottom one is called HSCRP. That's the most commonly tested and the most data is on that. And the reduction from two down to 0 0.4, again, a dramatic improvement in numbers there. And then the top number, PLAC, is a very cardiac specific marker of inflammation. And again, red zone now down into green. And also a nice little side effect is homocysteine, which is dangerous, came down from 17 down to 13. So excellent improvements there. Now, the, the data about this other thing called LP little a, Here's from NBC News, a stealthy cholesterol is killing people and most don't know they're at risk. Correct, most doctors are not checking for LP little a, even cardiologists, even in people who've already had heart attacks. Uh, so here we can see in this gentleman uh, from 67 down to 46. So a one third reduction in LP little a, which is a very nice improvement. All these things, uh, you know, again, are without the side effects of statin drugs. This is with Optolipid, the seven ingredients. This gentleman, along with hundreds of other people in our practice who are using Optolipid are getting great results. We think you will as well.